folks welcome to son of dal's live vlog on this the 7th of august now i haven't done a vlog for a little while uh, and this is the very very first vlog i've ever done on my new canon g7x mark ii uh, camera which i had bought for my 50th birthday now on today's vlog this is mainly going to be about my 50th birthday actually I'll be having a little bit of a talk about things that have been happening. I've had people visiting and we've been doing stuff and everything. But it's been a really, really hectic three weeks. I've also got an unboxing of the uh, August... No, I haven't. It's the July. My mistake. Of the July uh, Gibson's subscription service. Uh, but coming up, I just wanted to show you everything that's happened on my 50th birthday. Now, before I roll the video... Uh, obviously it's a big 50 and to me it's a massive achievement to reach the age of 50. A lot of people don't make this, a lot of people aren't so fortunate. I know quite a few people who haven't actually made it to this age. People say to me, you know, do I feel um, old? To be honest, I don't. In, in, in my mind I still feel as young as I did when I was 20. But in my body, obviously my body won't let me do stuff that I used to be able to do. Like long walks, climbs. Uh, football, cricket, sports, all different things really that I haven't been able to do. So um, yeah, in some respects I'm different, but I'm the same person. And uh, I like a laugh. And as you're going to see in a minute, I had lots of presents, I had lots of cards, and it was a really, really good day. So basically, roll film. Yeah, Alan, Alan, keys, you're on camera. You're on video. You're on video. You're on video. You're on video. Yes, you're on video. Hello, sis. 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 Hello, sis.
few zeros on it, mate. Yeah. She didn't on me age, though, I've noticed. <laughs> That's from me. Uh... Thank you, sis. It's all right, it's just a piece of cardboard. I don't take. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind a piece of cardboard, always find use for cardboard, mate. Well, to be fair, it's several pieces of cardboard. It's your birthday. <laughs> See, she was right, it's cardboard. I kept the mugs, I thought I'd be amused by watching you do it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I mean, I... All to do with Liverpool. Ooh. Carrie, Jamie Carragher, Emily Hughes, Ian Rush. Kevin Keegan, John Bones. <laughs> I wonder who that one God's quality ale. So I wonder who that one be. Hanson and Co. and Billy Lidd. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I'm brilliant. Let's see. Ale, absolutely brilliant. Come across some ale. You get some really good stuff That's on there. Absolutely there. brilliant. I love the little envelope, isn't yeah. That's why you go into Etsy. You yeah. like Etsy. Wrap this back up again. Found about three Christmas presents on there already. Or attempted. <laughs> <laughs> What's looking for them? Actually, weirdly enough, yeah. yeah. It's always how it works, isn't it? Yeah. It usually is, yeah. You go on eBay for something, I go, oh, oh, I need you for one of them. I'll, I'll, I'll get it now. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, you go down the rabbit hole and you're there for like three hours looking yeah. for stuff. That's for me, Ammo. Thanks, me, Ammo. <laughs> Now don't come mad because yes. it's last season you know so loud. That yeah, it still doesn't count. So it is. We were going to get him one of them. Oh yeah. I'm glad we didn't. Because okay. I thought I'm going to say we'll get him one. Yes. <laughs> so uh, it last year is absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Going, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was going to have his initials on that. Oh, you know, I thought, oh, no, I'm going to have Thank you. Man, you don't have one of these. Thank you. <laughs> going off me initials and 50 think, underneath. Think I've got the oh, crypt. I've got the crypt. I can put the 50 in the back. I'm glad I didn't get them now. Oh, I missed the card. Oh, you missed the card. Yeah. You missed the card. Missed the card. Somebody would set that as the ringtone. When we used to get on the bus, they used to have that as a ringtone. Every time I hear it now, I keep thinking somebody's phone's going. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had that as a ringtone at one point. Yeah, I think you did. I think, was it at my room? Was it you? Yeah, I like yeah. this one. Oh, that's nice. Thank Thanks, brother. Oh, that's off you in a minute. Thanks, brother. I used to have that as well. So I just have a carry bag you want, I can stuff all this. Have a fab 50th birthday from Mandy Stephen Oliver. <laughs> I want to see a dirt bag. I'm going to have to Ricky Martin. Mm -hmm. She bangs. Right. Yeah. That'd be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you actually see him amongst all this lot? Not really. <laughs> I'll have to find more pay, I can see when him. Dad's brother, brother, though, it? It? Yeah, when Dad's brother was in the town regiment, he was on the plane going over to somewhere and his kicked in and when his kicked in, it used to go, silence, I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> he was on a plane! <laughs> <laughs> he told us, didn't he, Dad? Yeah. He was actually on yes. a plane when it went off. Yeah. Oh, I can not imagine that. I just imagine him. The plane has to come down. Well, my head is heading over to Iraq. <laughs> Oh, it's all off man, is it? Yeah. It oh, brilliant. Yeah. Terry McDermott. Biography, Terry McDermott. Cool. Yep. Because I haven't got no books to read. No, no you haven't got money, have you? No. Oh. You're going to have to have a library in the hallway living in upstairs. I wanted to have all the books. I've only got the weight on the house. I mean, this has got to be on the platform at some point, hasn't it? That's off your mum, isn't it? Thanks, Tala, thank you. Oh, oh chocolate. <laughs> I know, I've got chocolate sports mix, I'm in the other mix. You are. Is that an empty bag? Yeah, don't you put the fish in there. Just now, mate. Put the bag there. This is off posty. You're intrigued, are you? Yeah, the posty lady. In uh, case I need some more. <laughs> I was about, I've got 12 minutes now, I had about five before. <laughs> well, it films in HD. Oh, that's all good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Meet the Jellyatrix, Bill Bird, Mr. Miser, Frau Zimmy, <laughs> Benny Dome, <laughs> and Pearl Stitch. <laughs> 100 years of Jelly Babies. Come on for a cool one. Yeah. And of course, inside. Jelly Babies. Or two bags of Jelly Babies as well. For Jelly Atrix. Yeah, Jelly Atrix. I love it. Binoculars at the ready, apparently. Show me. My eyes aren't that bad. Jay, well, they even have the wrinkles in them. I'm not sure. Let me know. Frau Zimmer. <laughs> Not quite ready for a Zimmer frame yet. <laughs> and I still haven't got my mobility shoes. <laughs> yeah. I knew what you were going to gonna say then. Can you say leave it to one because you love one now? I knew what you were going to say then. I knew where that was coming from. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were only on about this earlier on. The incomplete and new utter history of Britain. Michael Palin and Terry Jones. It's one of them silly sketch shows and one of you. Oh, brilliant. Ooh, a Blu-ray and two that, DVDs. Like that. Weird that. You've got a Blu-ray and two DVDs. <laughs> Never seen that as a box set before. Yeah. Yeah, it by the time we finish it with tea time, let alone dinner time. I think dinner's ready anyway. Yeah. Well, if you want to have a good dinner, give us this one, then if people want to have dinner, I'll open the rest after. Okay. So people okay. can get the food while it's hot. Okay. Nah. Well, so. You see, you've got plenty of game for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah just a bit. That's what's my name. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Wow. Yeah. What's that? That's so good. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says, because by the time I've opened all these, you see, you'll all be going and I'll get all the food. <laughs> that for a jigsaw. Oh, that's cool. Mum, go that for a jigsaw. Yeah, she told me. Mm -hmm. What was that? Sir. 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 Oh, no, you're on your own. On beast, in it? Oh, yeah, that's a beast. Nothing for me, then. <laughs> Zodiacus, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll do so some more afterwards. Just we're Just after. Just like people get food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You mean you want your yacht chicken food? Yeah. 11 minutes 23. Hey. <laughs> 11 minutes 23. Pause it in between. Yeah. Better than that, I can drag the footage onto your computer. Okay. Ah, another one in the list. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> the landmarks of around the world. Oh, I like Don't quit before the Russia blows them up. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> no Blackpool Tower, I've noticed though. Yeah, lots of going there, isn't it? Paul will spot it and then go, it's there, and I'll say that's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, there's the Eiffel Tower, there's. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just big Ben's stuck in the Yeah, it's because it's got big Ben on there, isn't it? Yeah. Gordon Bennett, you're in graphics. Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh. A nice, easy one. Flags mm. of the world, they'll all be rushing soon. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> all the different flags of the world. That'll keep me going for a bit. Just put a big Z on the front. Yeah. Oh, I think you want to sit up. It does. Oh, gee, do it. I'll come here. Are you alright there? Yeah, my knee's gone. Cheers, Paul. Then I can put them all. Thanks for that, Paul. Thanks for that. I didn't quite think it was food enough. What's that? It's a bigger table. It's a bigger table. It's a bigger table. I told you she makes some bizarre noise. I knew I should have moved that into the centre deck. Yeah. Oh, Andy, I like this one. Nice. Lamborghini mm -hmm. Legends, all different ones. <laughs> Pick a colour. Love me now. I'm not colour prejudiced. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say we've got them all colours. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. You've got that one on there for a Oh god, I'll just open that one first. You're right there. Ah, that's odd. You're right there, son. Yeah. You're right there, son. It's got a box of chocolates. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you want the paper back to wrap some of Tulsa? No. Okay. Oh. I'll take that back. Ah, one of my collection. Pork pies and puddings. <laughs> <laughs> I know what did, we were only talking about me and Deborah, and I said I'm going to have there. to stop getting so many jigsaws because I've got no room for them. Little me alive in your birthday. Well. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, bloody hell. As you can tell, I've been right down your list. Right yeah, down. Ray Winston. Go oh, blimey, that's an Odin. <laughs> wow. Dad, it's got a very, very young Kate Winslet in it. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to Thanks. Like Christmas, except I haven't got to be buying who's a who's. No, that's true. Oh, it's a happy birthday, though. I love it. That's cool. I was hoping you had a little birthday cake. That is so cool. I'll keep that. I even got a little birthday cake. I love it. Hey, little brickheads. Yeah, let's see that. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Dad, when I've shown these, you have to show Paul them to Funko Pop. Yeah, they're in the living room. Some of these are off my feet now as well. Yeah. Is it broke already? I don't think it is. In fact, these here, what well, Mandy's bought me, they're in pieces. Oh, this is <laughs> Thousands, look <literally>. Sorry. <laughs> It's good to be an adult, isn't it? Eh? It's good to be an adult. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Hands off. Hands so off. life don't sit as well. As I always say, I'll let you watch me eat one later. No problem. Bloody hell. Oh, I wonder what that is. I see guess an arrow, isn't it? An arrow. What do you reckon, sir? It's a, it's a binocular. <laughs> yeah, could be a telescope, actually. A huge Kit Kat. Kit Kat Chunky, come yeah. on, if you get them that size. <laughs> Give it time. You've done every corner, haven't you? That was awkward. Was that? No, I'll I'm not surprised it was awkward, right? <laughs> Word. I like it. <laughs> oh, yes, I quite am partial to Turbo. Oh, what's that? Millie Connolly says the only chocolate that actually hurts when you eat it. It won't at the moment, it's probably melted. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to pour it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that comment I made about giving up, you know, cutting back on the jigsaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to chop it on the jigsaws. No, it's gone. You never have too many jigsaws. No. Mm. Ah, bloody hell, fire. Now there's another good one. <laughs> ah, the gaffer. Bill Maynard, the gaffer. That goes back a bit, don't you, sir? I remember that, yeah. <laughs> God, the other one's uh, Selwyn Froggit. Oh my god. Oh no, it's Selwyn Froggit. <laughs> what was it there now going now? What's in my car? I can't remember. I knew I was gonna I knew I was gonna have a job with that. I'm trying to open it the real decent way and it won't work. Fruity loops. 50, it's not that of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, Ace. That's Ace. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. 50. Back on. You've got to have a 50 more. I know, yeah, tell me about it. 50 more, 50 bags, 50 tie. You're not getting good salad food. There you go. Perhaps. Let me come out. They give you so much to drink about. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, hey. That's cracking. So we've got to have a glass to go with the mug. That's pretty good. Still going, it's like Mary Poppins bag, isn't it? Also, <laughs> it is, yeah. I'm thinking. Must be coming up to that. Yeah, there's two like this one oh, and there's okay. one, one more. You five, you've still, still got five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's three bags of sports mix, I'm in the element now. They're all mapping now, Thank you, Matthew and Alex. <laughs> all the shop options for sure. Come on, Oh yeah, no, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I was trying to think of what I meant. I just simply missed it. Oh, that's good. Nope. Not going to get like that. That's 
the right. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, jigsaw 500 piece of the Goonies. <laughs> I love them because the fact that they like oh, that. No, they they the 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 right it's got the others up on top of there. The other one. <laughs> that was the only one he was looking for. Is that a bug empty now? Yes. Do you want the bag for that? You'd be able to fill him up. Yeah. Fill up with everything. This one's off to his mum. Hi, Ash, Janet. Yeah. Another Janet. <laughs> Oops. Uh -huh. Whoa. So, we were, we were only on about it the other day. Oh, bless oh, her. Oh, tell the so much. Bless yeah, her. Easily fit in my bag, thanks. The box set of it. Yeah, you have to check everything before you leave this time. <laughs> Looking down, pretending that he hasn't heard Sarah's comment then. Did you notice that? Sarah, did you notice that? I was looking down then, pretending I hadn't heard your comment. You've never seen that. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's a really door. It, basically, it's a crime thing, but all this, the, the crimes are related to like biblical stuff. Oh, and it's, right. it's really good. <laughs> Messiah, it's yeah. fantastic. If you open the bigger box out of the two, because there's enough time for that, the other one you know anyway. Right, the bigger box out of the two. Yeah, the bigger box out of the two, you know the other one. I might be able to, you've got two minutes. Generation game. 18, <laughs> if that. Uh, oh, is that why you're two minutes 18 yeah. to get in it. It's a good bit <laughs> Ah, the big one. Yeah, the, 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 the brown box. That one? Yes. Right. <laughs> right, okay. So now? It lights up. Oh my oh god. Man, it does. There you go, yeah. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> that is cool. What I like is they've also put. Yeah, they put the tape inside it as well. Stop Etsy, Etsy yeah, yeah, Etsy. Yeah, I've seen them. Etsy. That takes you back, doesn't it? <coughs> the amount of times I've had to rewire one of them back on. Oh. Yeah, I've got you. I love that. Yeah, it lights up. Thank you. Peel it out and put it in straight. Thank you, thank you. Limited edition. 1972. Cut the top off the video recorder. No, man. It's not going to be going back to it. You've got yeah. one minute. Oh, I've got one stuck in there. One minute. Probably really broke. 11, maybe. Put your video recorder. I don't know if I'll be able to get that done. I'll pass it on. That's all right. All right, this is why I didn't show Tony and Shell, because I couldn't get it back in the box easily. I hate it. I know what this is. You know what that is. Anyway. He knows exactly what it is. This is camera for vlogging. Yeah. Canon PowerShot G. I G didn't know you vlog. Yeah, I do. Why? Yeah. <laughs> G7X Mark II. There you go. I wonder who that perspective And I hope that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Look around. There you go. I need a warehouse. <laughs> there you go, got everybody in the shop. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you very much. Happy Thanks everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That's a lot of stuff.
now as you can see on that video like i say i had a lot of fun i had a lot of stuff as well I, you know this, this this camera is my main present um but since that vlog i've also had um many many moons ago we went to a place called freeport in fleetwood and we went again this time now every time we go in on the right hand side as you go in it's now called affinity but we you know it is freeport as you go in there's a leather shop caught there called the london leather shop and we've always gone past it and i've looked in a few times now i've been doing this for about 10 years on and off and there's always been a jacket there that i've always wanted it's a leather coat and it's basically an air force coat and it's got the air force insignia and it's on the back it's got stuff and everything and it's always been 295 pound which is more than i'm willing to pay for a coat on this particular time when we went in which was only a couple of weeks ago it was only 160 pounds now you might think that's a lot but for a limited leather jacket like that and i've been waiting 10 years to be able to get it anyway deb said to me you know why don't you get it go online and see if they've got it online because sometimes they have a sale in the store that isn't online anyway i went online and i managed to get it for 160 i ordered black at the time because he said there was black and brown well i did prefer brown but i thought i'll have the black because i always wear black anyway anyway um i got a message off them saying to me that uh, unfortunately the one that i wanted was only available in brown but they'd sent me a different one in black well i got back in touch with them and said look i said well what i really wanted i wanted the original one in brown uh, just have a look at these pictures this is me wearing it front and back now as you can see i have got the brown one but they went above and beyond they, they really did because a woman called celia got in touch with me and she basically came her, came all the way to here with the brown jacket she actually got it from uh, the london leather company she, she bought it here from the shop and we did a quick exchange on the doorstep i tried on the other one and it fitted me absolutely perfect and she took the black one away now she didn't have to do that you know it was really nice of her to do that so if you're ever in fleetwood or freeport or you go on to the london leather company um you won't see the bargains that they have on there and the quality of the jacket is absolutely ridiculous i mean obviously it's too warm to wear it at the moment but i will be wearing it i will definitely be wearing that that's that's definitely an autumn stroke winter that is and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we might be having some more weddings in the next couple of years nephews and stuff like that so i'll get a chance to wear it then hopefully uh but yeah so what have we been up to what haven't we been up to it's a shorter list we've been very busy sorting wedding stuff out because as you know i've told you i'm best man in just five weeks on monday believe it or not that's how quick it's going and deb is matron of honor so we've been helping with the preparations and stuff and deb's been sorting out the decorations and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff i've mainly been um reading i've been reading quite a lot but i've also for my birthday week from the 17th to the 24th our good friends and family really uh from leicester came up um that would be sarah and her mum janet and we literally we spent the entire week together uh we went we only went a couple of places we mainly went freeport fleetwood was the main one in fact i think that was the only one we went freeport fleetwood and had a nice day out we had a lovely meal at weatherspoons a place called the thomas drummond if you ever get a chance you won't go weatherspoons because in this day and age where people are charging an absolute fortune for food um it's really nice to know that i could get a big burger which is one of the you know the proper stack of burgers with a pint as well and onion rings and fries for under 10 pound i mean you can't get that anywhere all four of us had main meals and drinks and for four people it came to 33 pounds so that's under under uh, nine pound a person and that isn't bad really you can't complain at that under nine pound a person for a meal and a drink in case you can hear a noise in the background that's my name well i'm across the road neighbor just coming in on his bike i don't know if you can hear the noise it's quite loud but this might not pick it up anyway so yeah they came up and we had a fantastic time unfortunately on my birthday as you can see from the pictures and, and, and what was going on it was absolutely boiling hot it was 28 29 degrees and the following day it was even warmer and a lot of people i know don't do very well in weather like that because it literally means you can't do anything if you sit still you sweat if you stand up you sweat if you move around you sweat you can't get away from it now on my birthday i spent almost all day outside sitting on on the patio uh, on the, the decking um so while i felt it was warm i didn't feel it was too warm not to sit out 
The following day on the Tuesday, I literally spent about three hours sitting in my dining room because it was even too warm for me. Now bear in mind, I don't sit in the sun. I don't sit in the sun, I sit in the shade. I've never been a sun bunny. Um, my skin isn't made for uh, sitting in the sun. It goes red really, really, really quickly. So uh, yeah, but yeah, we had a fantastic time. We hadn't seen them for six years. And when you haven't seen somebody for six years, it, it, you know, it, it brings tears, it really does, because you know that six years, a lot's happened in six years, you know. I mean, I've lost my mum, uh, Deb's lost her dad, and, and Janet and Sarah actually knew both of them because they'd met both of them. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's been a bit of a nutcase for, well, three weeks, really. A lot of gorgeous weather, a lot of sitting outside, a lot of chilling, a lot of playing games on my phone, a lot of reading. Um, I've had quite, like I say, I've had so much stuff for my birthday, even more than was on the, the video, really. But the main thing is this Canon G7X, because with me being, having me disabilities, a lot of things I can't do. Now, the thing is about photography is you don't have to worry about holding the camera all the time. That's the beauty of this. It's on a tripod. And what I did, I used all my birthday money, what people gave me. Uh, which was off my sister, off my, my mother-in-law, um, off my other sister and also, you know, money what I gathered together and I bought all the accessories that go with it as you can see from the pictures in, in the video. So I've got now a backpack, I've got the camera, I've got the case, I've got the SD card and I've got a tripod. So I've got all these accessories so that if we do go anywhere with somebody in a car, I can take my backpack and I can literally set up my tripod and take some pictures wherever we go. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. that. That's going to be something that I'm going to be doing late this year, next year, whenever I've got this now. This is going to be a new hobby of mine. I was already like David Bailey on acid the first time I set the tripod up on the deck and I was photographing leaves and gravestones because we live just behind. There's a cemetery right behind us, literally. Our decking leads straight onto the cemetery. There's no paths or nothing leading. It's just straight onto the cemetery. Um, so I've got a lot of lovely footage from that as well. I know people might think that's a bit eerie and spooky and a bit creepy taking photographs of gravestones, but I find it calming and reassuring. Now anyway, coming up, I've got my unboxing of the July Gibson subscription service, and it's a cracker. So here we go, uh, the jigsaw for this month. Now, bear in mind it was July. Now, a lot of people do Christmas in July, which is fine. You know, nothing wrong with that. Um, I quite like Christmas in July, but obviously I don't do Christmas jigsaws in July, but they sent me this one. Now, look at this for a jigsaw. Again, it's a limited one. Um, it's a 20th limited edition and it contains a unique uh, 20th century limited, uh, 20th limited edition numbered certificate. I haven't opened it, it's still sealed, I've got the seal on the top of it, but that is the jigsaw. Now if you have a look at the detail on that, that's going to be a belter to do. And I will say, because I always say it when I do a Christmas jigsaw, is my mum would absolutely love this jigsaw. She would go mental for this jigsaw. In fact, she'd buy this jigsaw, let's be honest. But it's called Winter Wonderland and it's the latest edition. Now. I've also got the August one on the way and that should be it in a couple of days and what I will do then I will do another vlog and I'll put that one on so there you go but I have got another jigsaw to show you because I haven't done any jigsaws this month because obviously with everything that's been so busy I haven't really had chance excuse me a minute I was a bit too close there wasn't I I was nearly kissing the screen now this one uh, a couple of months ago I showed you a couple that I'd had which were part of the boot club collection. Now the first one was Sherlock Holmes and the second one was uh, Jane Austen. Now the third one, literally Deb told me get it as soon as she saw it, is all the works of Charles Dickens. Now as you can see, the quality of that is amazing. You've got all sorts on there, as you can see. One of my favourites, obviously, you'll see it at the bottom there, the Ghost of Christmas present, good old a Christmas Carol but you've also got Pitwick Papers on there you've got Little Dorrit on there you've got all sorts and that's the works of Charles Dickens now there is another one coming out there is another one coming out to go with the set and this one is actually called Gothic Tales 
and uh, I've seen the front front of it and it's pre-order job so I've actually pre-ordered it so you know there's, there's a lot to come there's a lot to come uh, but them are my jigsaws for this month and there's no jigsaw gallery I'm afraid because I haven't done any Now I won't finish today we're just talking about society really and the way <clears throat> the way it's going excuse me <clears throat> the way it's going because <clears throat> I'm getting fed up of turning the news on every morning and seeing somebody's been killed somebody's been murdered somebody's been bombed somebody's been stabbed uh, somebody's died of this somebody uh, I, I just think as a society we are very 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 angry and you've got two choices of what you do with that anger. You either use it to try and make things better so that you don't feel so angry, or you use it for bad. Now, the majority of people I personally know would use it for good, but unfortunately there are those out there that basically, if they've got a grudge against something, they will take it out on somebody innocent. Now, one particular example that really shocked me. In fact, two examples I'm going to tell you about. The one, the first one, was about a young girl who was playing in Boston, in Lincolnshire. And she was just playing with her friends with a hoop. And somebody came up and stabbed her once and she died. Just like that. A nine-year-old girl gone. Life. Snuffed out. Because of one person. And I just, it, it hit me quite hard because... When you hear about it away from millions of miles away from where you know, yes, it affects you, but not so much. Now, because it's in Boston, in Lincolnshire, Deb, my wife, she's actually from Lincolnshire. She was born in Newcastle, but she was only there for about three weeks or three months or something. And then they moved down to Lincolnshire. Now, her mum still lives in Louth, um, a place called Louth in Lincolnshire. But Boston is not that far away. And when it's that close, it brings into like context, if you like, how really, really horrible the world's becoming. Now, the second example, now this one is not so close, but it's still a strange one. It's about a Russian couple who got married and they got married. And um, on the day of the wedding, the husband decided to beat, to beat the wife to death. He actually beat her to death because she was... He said acting flirtatious with one of the other guests, but he beat her to death on the wedding day. And he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't feel bad about it. He says, well, you know, she was behaving wrong, so I did something about it. Now, he was a convicted murderer and a convicted uh, rob robbery, robbery and murder he'd done. And the woman had uh, been a pen pal of his and she decided she could change him, turn him around, make him a nice person. And it backfired. And he's now going to prison. He doesn't care anyway because, as he says, you know, I've got no regrets. I did what I did. But this is how society is. We are so angry. We are so... What's the word? Suspicious of everything. But it's because we've got to be. Whereas before, when I was younger, if we went out, we went downtown, you never even would have dreamt that somebody could pull a knife any minute and start stabbing people left, right and centre. But now you've got to take it into context. That could happen. That could happen. Yeah, I could go downtown centre with my mates, uh, with my mate next door, Tony and, and Shell and, and Deb, and we could go down there, we could go in Primark, and all it takes is one person come in with a knife, start stabbing people, done. Or a gun. Now, guns, not so much in this country, because we are quite strict on laws of guns, and, and they're only usually seen by criminals, and, and, you know, you can't just go out to a shop and buy one. You can't say, loaf of bread, bottle of milk and a gun, please. But there are knives. Now there was one a house in Blackpool <clears throat> that was raided because this person had been boasting about stuff. And they found literally 300 knives in this guy's house. It was either 300 or 3,000. And we're not talking little little knives for like in the, in the kitchen. We're talking like Bowie knives. We're talking serrated edge knives. Now these are not the kind of thing you get for fun. You know, unless, you, unless you're hunting in the American wildlands and you're going to go after deer or whatever, you would not have one of these knives. What they also found, though, this was what was quite scary, really, is there were loads of drugs that had been made into children's candy, children's sweets. So it's obvious what he was going to be using them for. He was going to be giving them out in playgrounds and stuff. Because 
that's the best that that was the easiest way for him to do it you think about it if you've got all these drugs and you've turned them into kids sweets you're not going to sell them because nobody's going to buy kids sweets that are drugged but if you start giving them to people in the playground and say yeah I'm and then once they want some you come back and you say well this time it cost you this much you're not having them for free you know he's trying to turn literally he was obviously trying to turn lots of little, little children into drug drug addicts and and again that's the state of the world that's in blackpool as well that's actually near where i live you know it's not far from where i live at all so yeah i just think we're a very very angry society we need to do something we need to stop this because I was talking to my neighbour on the deck in this morning and I turned around and said if they suddenly announced that we've got seven days to live, just let's say the planet was going to explode in seven days and everything would be wiped out. I know a fair few people who would literally say, right, for the next seven days I'm going to see my loved ones, I'm going to do all the right things, I'm going to make sure I go out and with a smile. But, but, I also know you're going to get those people who are going to say, oh, well, because it's only seven days to live, I'm going to go out, I'm going to rape, I'm going to murder, I'm going to rob, I'm going to arson, I'm going to do whatever I want, because it doesn't matter, because I can't go to prison, can I? Because in seven days the planet's ending. And unfortunately, I think that the majority of people would be like that. You know, they would be like that. They'd say, well, we're only seven days anyway, so what does it matter? But it does matter. It does matter. To me, it does anyway. Maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. I, I just think that society is one of them things. And the other thing is, talking to people, having mates, having friends who you can talk to. Now, I've got a couple of friends, not that many, but I've got a couple. And one I spoke to the other day, who I haven't spoke to for a while, called uh, Mr Ian Maddock. Now, he's just turned 50, same as me. Now, when we first met, we were both 15 and we had a combined age of 30. But now we've got a combined age of 100 you know and and our our friendship literally goes back then full 35 years yes we, we we you know we went our separate ways he stayed in stoke on trent i moved up to blackpool but we're still in touch we still talk on the phone you know he still sends me stuff on whatsapp but i still send him stuff on whatsapp because i haven't gone through life picking up friends left right and center i haven't done that i don't do that i don't sort of like oh i'll have 20 friends here 30 friends there 10 friends there i don't do that I've got about a handful of friends, a handful of people that I could call friends. And that's enough for me. Because rather than diluting the friendship and spreading it thinly, they them literally are my friends, that's it. You know, they like a bubble, if you like, of friendship. And I think that's important as well for society. We need to be a bit more friendly. I'm not saying, you know, everybody can be nice and smiley and good, because there's always going to be evil people. There's nothing you can do about that. But... If you can go through your life and get to the end of it and say, I didn't really piss that many people off, then you've done something right. And that's what I want to do. I want to get to the end of my life, say, I had a good life. I had a lovely wife. I had a fantastic home. Yes, I had disabilities, but what the hell? Uh, but other than that, I didn't really anger that many people. I didn't make many people that pissed off at me that they wanted to kill me or anything like that. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know what the next 25 years are going to bring, but... But that's it. That is my first vlog on my Canon camera. And hopefully um, it comes out brilliant. If it doesn't, then um, hmm, I'll be starting and trying to figure out why. But anyway, that's my vlog. You all take care. I hope you enjoyed the 50th birthday video. And uh, I'll do another vlog soon. Oh, by the way, 200 subscribers now on Instagram. Sorry, followers. And one... Th uh, no, sorry. 839 on YouTube. All good, innit? You take care. Bye for now. See you, folks.